what is meant by pyrexia of unknown origin. Documented fever on several occasions lasting more than three weeks with absence of specific diagnosis after one week of inpatient evaluation or three outpatient visits. What are the special details you would like to ask when taking a history of a patient with pyrexia of unknown origin? Leisure time activities, eating habits, animal exposure, ingestion of unpasteurized milk, whether he was on long-term antibiotics, whether he used illicit drugs, whether he is an intravenous drug addict, whether he is on immunosuppression therapy, and his sexual history. Tell me some infective causes of pyrexia of unknown origin. Culture negative infective endocarditis, osteomyelitis, brucellosis, extrapulmonary tuberculosis, Q fever, um, Epstein Barr viral infection, cytomegaloviral infection. What are the tests you would like to perform? Initially, I would like to do full blood count, ESR, C-reactive proteins, urine analysis, urine culture ultrasound uh, scans, blood pictures and blood culture. Lately, I would like to do uh, HIV testing to the echo uh, cerebrospinal fluid or bone marrow culture, CT scan, MRI scan, mm -hmm. if necessary specific antibody tests. Okay, what are those special antibiotic tests? Vidal test, Brucella antibody test, Toxoplasma antibody test. What are the infections you will expect to identify from bug picture? Malaria, trypanosomiasis, relapsing fever, infectious mononucleosis. Can we give empirical treatment for these patients? No, unless the patient is believed to have miliar tuberculosis, central nervous system tuberculosis, temporal arthritis, or infective endocarditis with severe sepsis. What should you rule out at the first encounter of these patients? Whether he or she having sepsis. Okay, what are the signs and symptoms of sepsis? Fever, chills and rigors, confusion, difficulty in breathing, fatigue, malaise, nausea and vomiting. What are the predisposing factors of sepsis? Immunocompromised status, long-term steroid therapy, diabetes mellitus, multidrug resistant infections, extremes of age. Tell me three pathogens that splenectomized patients are more susceptible to. Haemophilus influenzae, Neisseria meningitis, Streptococcus pneumoniae. Tell me the role of bacteria in sepsis. Their cell wall components like lipopolysaccharides, peptidoglycan, can induce release of pro-inflammatory mediators like cytokinins and initiate sepsis. What are the diseases caused by exotoxins produced by bacteria? Diphtheria, tetanus, botulism, gas gangrene, scarlet fever, toxic shock syndrome, cholera, staphylococcal food poisoning, Tell me other viral factors of microorganisms. Outer cell membrane proteins, capsule, tissue degradating enzymes like collagenase, hydrogenase, coagulase, streptokinase, hemolysins. What are the organisms that produce immunoglobulin A degradating proteases? Neisseria gonorrhea, Neisseria meningitis, Hemophilus influenzae.